Yo, awesome guys, back in another video. So it's been around a week since my last upload. I had a little break, refresh, regenerated, and now I've got a few things to talk about. As most of you know right now, on my channel, there's an ongoing giveaway for two of these Air Pros. So far, there's nearly 1,000 entries. If you're interested in winning yourself a free parodies, all you got to do, click the top link in the description and follow the set steps. So it seems surprisingly out of nowhere, last night, Dixie the Marshmallow released a song called Be Happy. I I believe it's the first TikToker from the new wave to release a song other than Jaden Hostler. So, of course, the song got a mixed reaction. When she posted the song announcement to her Instagram, of course, she had loads of verified users at the top saying, We're so proud. I can't believe it. I'm so happy for you. But then, when you scroll down a bit more to the first few public responses, everyone's shitting on her. Charlie DeMarsh, and of course, she done a set post to promote her sister's song where she captioned it, Link in bio. I'm so proud of my sister at Dixie Marshmallow. Make sure you check out her amazing first song. Although what surprised me a bit, Dixie's apparent best friend, Alison Ray, hasn't even done a story about it, a tweet, a post, nothing all to support her new song. Now, I don't know if that's to do with the recent shading of Addison to Charlie where Dixie defended her. Comment down below what you don't think. The top public comment under Dixie's Instagram picture states, please stop trying to do this singing and acting shit this just ain't it, stick to what made you popular. And we see this all the time, whenever a big content creator, whether that's a YouTuber, TikTok or whatever, try and do a different craft, whether that's singing or acting, the fans will not accept you at all. Dixie, in fact, has dipped her hands in acting on this show she's doing called Outway General, and please do not get me started on how good the acting is. So you're probably wondering, what are my thoughts on her first song ever released? And to be honest, I'm not a fan of that style of music, but listening to it, it is not bad at all for a first song. A prime example of someone who has broke down the creator barrier when it comes to a different niche is KSI. Before he dropped his recent album, The Simulation, everyone's like, oh, your music's so dead, it's gonna go nowhere. Then he drops it and people are now suddenly accepting of him. It does go to show persistency and dedication on another craft will end up going well. If Dixie does one song, maybe she gets a bit of backlash and does another one, keeps going, keeps going. Fans will eventually be accepting of it. Another comment states, I mean, it's all right, overrated AF in my opinion, but that's typically how the bullshit goes. Like, being real for a minute, this song is bog standard. It's nothing too good, nothing too bad. But the fact people are saying, oh, it's dog shit, it's complete crap, they're literally just doing it for a reaction. I seriously don't understand some people's expectations. Like, she's dropped her first song. She's not going to be like Beyonce or Rihanna, but I'm not going to lie. Some of the comments are funny. Before she did, in fact, drop her song, she went on Instagram Live to essentially promote it, and then say at the end, she dropped it. People on right now. I haven't been live. I don't even remember the last time I went live. Um, what time is it here? It's 8.57. Um, yeah. Super exciting stuff. Thank you guys. You're so sweet. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, we'd always have such a negative opinion backlash to the song, the reason being, she's the sister to one of the biggest TikTokers, if not the biggest, on the platform itself. She's doing something new for the first time. Of course, people are gonna give her major backlash. I don't know. Any questions? I'm looking for questions right now. I told people to guess the surprise. Some people are guessing. Um, hi, Max. I'm at my home. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm super excited. Um... So I'm guessing most of you lot have already heard the song and I'm interested. Comment down below your honest opinion on it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Amy. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to focus on both lives. For everyone who's joined now, I am announcing a surprise in one minute, but I just want to get on here quickly. And I'm on live on TikTok and Instagram so I could um, get to all my followers because I know some people don't have an Instagram. Nanny Bread said, she's not seeing my comments. Oh, hi, Nanny Bread, if you're on here. I'm just trying to predict what the first week sales are going to be considering she is literally tens of millions of followers on different platforms. She'll probably get millions of streams in the first week. Um... Yeah, I don't really have much to say. Hi, Kate. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, 
Hi, Jasmine. So about 30 seconds. Not gonna lie, if I was in our shoes, I had millions of people literally watching me release this song. All their opinions would be on it straight away. I'll be bloody shitting a brick as well. Talking about shitting a brick, if you're this far into the video and you're still not, join loafers, what are you doing? Smash that red button. About 30 seconds. And yeah. I feel like a lot of people might already know what the surprise is. Did you ask them to guess? Yeah. What are they saying? What it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Hi, Alexa. Could you imagine everyone saying, oh, it's definitely a song, trust me, it's a song. And then she says she's dropping it on you fans. That'll be the top 10 anime twist of all time. Mm -mm -mm. So I just dropped a song and it is on all streaming platforms. Go check it out. It's called Be Happy. I haven't um, said anything about it. So go listen right now on Spotify, Apple Music. Go check it out. Google Play. Yeah. Go listen. Not gonna lie, that is funny. When she's actually about to say the song's coming out, she looks around left. Oh, have I got to go ahead? Have I got to go ahead? Blah, blah, blah. Kind of funny. Yeah. Go listen. I really love it. It means a lot to me. And I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Yeah. I don't know. How are they going to find it? You can find it, Dixie D'Amelio, on Spotify, Apple Music, or Google Play. The song's called Be Happy. And I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, there's people leaving. Yay. <laughs> Bye! I don't know how to end me. Like I always say, time and time again, that is really good marketing. Doing a TikTok live, doing an Instagram live where all your followers are and literally telling them to go listen to the song as soon as it ends. So smart. The thing is, a lot of people probably think, oh, she's only releasing this song because she wants money. She's got followers. She doesn't care about singing. But in fact, it's not a spur of the moment decision. She's been singing for literally years. I wonder if now that Dixie dropped the song, Charlie's probably wondering, hang on a minute, the first reception to her first song wasn't even that bad, let me jump on board. As you guys know, on my channel, I like to give the most active scars out there shout outs, whether you're sitting and watching these and you're a singer or not, like, you know what, just give me a shout out. All you gotta do, just be active on the channel, whether that's constantly liking, and subscribing, all different videos, and today's shout out someone called Beatrice Mendoca Leonardo, thank you so much for the channel, much appreciated. But those people wondering, Charlie did in fact post a TikTok months ago where she briefly did sing a song here. <laughs> Before I go, won't you lay me down, put your hands all on me, hold me close. Before I know that I on my own, that I don't know how, but I miss you already. I try, oh I try, but I know before I go, before another night on my own. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, <laughs> I mean, that little rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is close to Adele level. Someone please sign her up. No, but being realistic, if she does want to drop a song, she's worried about a fat class. Literally, all you need to do, hit the studio, pay for a top notch, engineer, producer, master art, then all you do, you spit the bars in the booth, they literally fix the song and can make it viral, make it a hit, and I'm telling you, that is how all the new viral songs are made. Anyway guys, I've got a video, I hope you did enjoy, as always, let me know your thoughts on this video and the situation in the comments down below, remember, spam hashtag loafers in the comments, follow up my social media, Instagram at loaftube, same as Twitter, but if you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.